Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brian from Philosophy and I'm here to talk to you about sustainability theory. I got three models. So look here, I'm sorry I couldn't help you out today uh, in person, but I certainly hope uh, that you enjoy the pedagogical stylings of Brent and Angela. So, the Venn diagram model. Philosophy is certainly killing it with the Venn diagrams in the modern world, isn't it? <clears throat> boy, boy, boy. All right, so with this Venn diagram, we have three areas uh, of thinking about human life and perhaps broader life. Uh, this was, uh, any, anyway, in the diagram. So this is a sustainable development model. So this is thinking about how the three areas could be in balance so that you could maximize the benefit to each area. The three areas, of course, being environment, society, and economy. They're presented in this model as co-equal, and you might believe that they are co-equal in terms of the content of your class or in some other you know, way of thinking. And so this would be a model that you could use for uh, theoretical grounding for sustainability in your course, sort of a fundamental and powerful concept. Um, sustainability, uh, in quotes there, you'll see, is when all three areas are in balance. There's some conversation to be had about what happens in the areas where only two circles overlap. I've shaded those there with the little stripes. Um, so what is exactly happening in the area between environment and economy where society isn't there? These are very theoretical. It's sort of a top-down way of looking at the problem because, of course, uh, economy never exists without society. Uh, society doesn't exist outside of the environment. Um, you know, in some regard. And so this is, um, there's some artificiality going here in, in thinking, but it's also highly useful. This is the most common model of sustainability we'll see anywhere, the Venn diagram model. How about the three-legged stool? The seat of the stool there, you see I've got legs that are the three parts, the society, environment, and economy. I've got them right there. And then you have the stool part, right? So the idea here is really emphasizing balance. This is a great place to talk about resilience. What happens when the stool starts to wobble? How does that affect the other systems? How does that affect that seat, which we would call sustainability? Okay. This is a, a model that emphasizes functionality as opposed to the first one, which does not need to emphasize that at all, right? Talking about things falling over here. That's immediately apparent with the model. Third model, concentric circle model. So what's going on here? Here we have an attempt to show that there is a different value in each of the three areas. So environment is bigger and it totally contains society, which you might think about. Um, and society is bigger than the economy and it totally contains that. This is supposed to indicate dependence and uh, really emphasize the relationships and to show that the environment is in very dramatic ways more important than the other areas and society then in its turn more important than the economy. So this one definitely takes a sharp point of view and makes some judgments about the values of, the each, of each of the areas. Concentric circle model might also be useful for your work. Have a great start.